All right, here's how you sign up for an account at education.weebly.com. Make sure you go here for registering your account because it's the education version. So we're going to register a new account. If you're new to the school, you have to do this. If not, then just log in up here. So I'm going to just try and do this just like my email. It's not available at that ISS at the end. It's available. Good. Put in a password. I'm going to put in my work email address, but I've used mine already, so I'm just using this one. I'm going to click accept. I'm going to click sign up. So you got to, I guess, put in some stuff here. Done. Submit. You can skip that tab. Uh, I'm just going to close this. I'm just going to look at this area here. So this is the area where you're going to see all your, if you actually make more than one, maybe you make one for your ECA or whatever, this is where you'll see them all, but you, most of you will just have one. If we click add site, this is where we go through the wizard of getting our classroom blog up and running. So I'm going to choose blog, that'll set it up as a blog format, so I'm going to click there. Choose a theme, we can change this later, we can make it all nice and stuff. Um, I'm just going to make it really simple at the start, I'm going to make just do this one, maybe a nice red color for stuff. That's fine. Change it later, obviously. That's going to load it up. Alright, so this is where you actually create your um, website address that you're going to give your parents um, to access the um, blog. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to try and mirror what our classroom name is. So if you're 3.3, I'll probably try and do ISS 3-3. That's available. I'm not going to take that because one of you needs that address. If I just type in 3-3, it's taken because another school somewhere in the world wants that. So we have to differentiate between us and somebody else. So I'm going to do 3.9. We don't have, uh, we probably hopefully never will have nine classes in grade three. So there we go. It's available. This will be the website of our blog. All right, I'm not going to, I'm just going to build my site. This is a little video tutorial. You can play that if you want. All right, it's going to come up with lots of different pop-up things for you. So here we go. Very, very simple. We could change this to be 3.9's classroom blog. All right, so you can see now we just have three pages right here, which is great that's fine that's simple you can have an about me page there for your for yourself so in here basically we can have text we can have an image we can have a gallery or slideshow so if you just want a title in there it's going to drag it in click here to edit so I can click there and I can just put in that stuff there I can put in just drag over a bit of text right just about me, all my details about me. If I have an image of myself, I can drop it in there. I'll click on here and I can just upload a photo from my computer. I don't know if I have one at hand. Here, there, let's check that in. That'll upload and it'll appear underneath there. So you can see everything along here is very drag and drop. That's how easy Weebly is. Um, my recommendation just wait for this image to upload. My recommendation is to keep your um, your blog very simple. Um, I think less pages for uh, for parents to, to look through the better. This front page here will be your most active page because every time you do a new post, so you can do the first first day of school. start just dragging in text. If you've got lots of different pictures then you can drag in a gallery and that will just basically give you the opportunity to upload multiple images. And so every time you do something you're gonna publish live. This will pop up all the time. Don't worry about it. Just click continue. Publishing post. Alright, I'm just gonna close this and then I'm gonna publish this site. First time you do this you gotta do this. Don't ask me this again, skip, continue, whatever. Alright, so that's done. You can click on this link just to see what your blog looks like. You can see the address here. This is what you're going to send your parents. See the first day of school is here. It's empty because I didn't populate the text or the, or the gallery. 
you can see the about I have the picture there this is editable if I go back to my editing area I can click about and I can edit image so you can take a picture of your classroom and your students and upload that into there that'd be pretty cool if you don't like this theme you can just look around for other ones that you want so I can change theme and then you can have a look around here and figure out if there's any other design there that you need I'm not going to go through all that that's up to you so I can go back to the build menu here just another example of what you can do you can click on these little buttons up here to choose what you want maybe want to drag an archive over but it's already there by default that's pretty cool to go back through the months at the end of the year and figure out what posts you did and when here we just got some structure divider search box it's wants to embed media you can get a YouTube address and put it into here drag this across and you get a um, insert the uh, YouTube and it'll look nicely embedded there and then you got the more one which is just different extra things. Let's have a look at pages this is where you can add different pages so my blog page is the um, home page basically you can see the little house there my contact page is here it's got a short header now you see in the blog one if I really want to have a short header which might be the picture of my class I can put that there that might be a good idea a nice little um, welcome to the site um, if I don't want a contact page this could be I don't know, rules of the classroom or something like that. Whatever you wish to have there. Click save and edit. So now you see that I have I have actually an image there so I can change this into a nice picture of the class. Um, oh yeah, let me just go back to the pages and show you something else. If I want to make a new page, I can choose whether I want it to be a blog page or a standard page. Standard page won't have the new post button on it so you can't date anything. It'll just be a static page. Um, for the main blog of your site, you really want to have a blog page which has dated entries. Any questions? Let me know.